Greetings Master, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to hack a Photon file with the X editor so that you can change the layers. So we have our file, uh, our file uh, is uh, in the links below. Uh, first thing we have to do is to export it to um, STL. Uh, in Fusion we would uh, just select uh, make, uh, uh, remove the send to print select the object we want to export and press OK. Uh, in this case, this will take a while with my system, so uh, I just have uh, the file export and we'll start with it. So, um, with the file export, uh, I'll just open the she2 um, slicer uh, and I'll just drop the file inside. So the first thing we have to do is to just uh, turn the file around. Uh, so 90 degrees will do. With the file on the right position, we must add a base in this case because the, the other one doesn't have this base and we want a base here. So we select it. We select, we'll use a, a standard support from the she2 software. We'll use a raft and let's say we can use a cube with a one millimeter uh, thickness. Uh, so with this set, we just uh, click uh, OK and here we go. So now we have our slicer. So now we need to talk about the settings. In this case, we're tricking the program into uh, exposing one of these sets at the time so we need this is one millimeter so we need to set here a layer thickness of one millimeter in this case we are going to go with an exposure of two seconds because we will give us a range of two to twenty seconds and we will set uh, the off time to zero because we really don't need the off time uh, and the bottom exposure, we will try to do it to, uh, long enough to, to make a, a thick uh, part in order to stick to the, to the building plate. Uh, so we will leave just one layer, uh, which will try to create this layer. And then all the other layers will be exposed over that pre-cured uh, layer. So with the settings on, we just go and export the file. So we can check the preview. So the preview says we will have 12 layers and the first layer is a full layer. The second layer is and okay, looks okay. There's a a uh, last exposure with a zero layer so we can leave it on it doesn't really affect us so with the file exported we need to go into the X editor and we need to change a couple of things so opening the the file and running the the template on the file so this template you can download too and this template has the structure of what we have found about the, the file. So in the header, you can change uh, things like the normal exposure time. This is the exposure that will show on your machine. Uh, you can change the thickness of the layer. And this is just for the first layer. And here we will give it for the, the base layer, something like 0 0.05. So 5 microns is perfect. Uh, we'll leave the exposure at 120 and then we need to change we need to find where the the layer definition starts and here you can see that this is the bottom layer there's the 120 seconds that we saw up there and we will leave it like that what we need to do is the first layer uh, we need to change it to something like 0 0.05 millimeters Uh, this one is zero. Uh, I think we can leave it like that because it's going to be overridden by this layer here on the top. So the next thing, so we expose the base layer, we expose the first test layer. 
and now we don't want the platform to move anymore so what we need to do is set every other layer as zero so here we go so just check the layers open up the layers set them to zero another one to zero and just this one to zero as you can see these values are absolute so the the software slices uh, with uh, absolute values so with all layers set as zero we can just go and save our file file save we can overwrite our file or you can just make a new file in this case i'll just overwritten and okay we're ready to go now we just need to to put this on the machine and test it to see if it goes so hope you like it thanks for coming by